Janice, are you there? At your service, sir. Give me some of that dating foolishness. Will do, sir. I just wish uh, the people never look the single woman as a strange kind of human being in the world. In China, a woman who fails to succeed in love by the time she turns 28 is branded leftover. Welcome to Management Highlights Daily. Another shout out to Mr. Ramos for sending us back to back videos that are pure gold. This is his message. MHD, I found this also, but on China's dating crisis. It's a good look at how other countries operate and have dating issues. Wealthy women are not attractive to average men despite them having 180 men for even 100 women available. The quote unquote leftover women is a fascinating phenomenon. Sincerely, Mr. Ramos. Mr. Ramos, thank you for this video request. Salute! Now pay attention to this, fellas. It's Valentine's Day in Chengdu, and preparations are well underway for an unusual event a matchmaking party to find husbands for some of the city's single female millionaires. These women are part of China's new elite, the super rich, who seem to have it all. But when it comes to love, they're victims of their own success. You guys heard it, right? Victims of their own success. That's what we're going to talk about in this video. As a sociology enthusiast, I find China particularly fascinating to observe as it allows me to study how social dynamics influence human behavior and shape the nation. This is why I've added some clips from another video to provide further insight into the social dynamics in China. Check this out. Marriage rates in China have plummeted. About 6.8 million couples tied the knot last year, the lowest since records began in 1986. In the last decade alone, the number of marriages has halved. Understandably, some of these elderly folk with dreams of becoming grandparents are worried. We all know that a steady decline in the number of marriages is not something that happens by accident. China had a one-child policy for almost 40 years that also plays a big role. Check this out. One-child policy generation. So for those people, they grew up on their own, then uh, naturally they are more individualistic than the previous generations. So when he I want you to keep this information in mind, fellas. Now, before we get into this, let's tell you about the sponsor of this video. This video was made possible by the novel Land of the Losers, the hilarious and bittersweet true story of one man's international adventure through dating insanity and self improvement. Read how former nice guy reinvented himself without losing his soul in the process. Author Dr. Janice Fiamengo described the story as a must read for any 30 something woman wondering where all the nice guys have gone. See the links below to download your copy from Amazon, Smashwords, or Apple iBooks. Hardcover copies also available. Now it's time for us to get into this and do what we gotta do. Because we men ain't we? Yeah. We men ain't we? Yeah. But far from being considered a catch, China's ambitious modern woman is finding few prospects in the marriage market. It's a social contradiction that's inspired this song.
Wow, I remember when this song came out more than 10 years ago. Content creators at the time jumped on it, highlighting women's hypergamous nature. A lot of the answers are in this song. Check this out. In 1999, the government pushed for the expansion of higher education. At that time, women made up about 20% of Chinese higher education. By 2019, 52% of university students are women, overtaking male enrollment. That's one of the reasons as women's education increased, of course, their economic independence has increased. See how the government is involved and why Barbie has to bring confusion? It doesn't matter where you are in the world. The moment women join the labor force, start earning their own money, divorce numbers go up, marriage numbers fall, and birth rates decline. Women who have their own economic resources are more likely to place a higher rather than a lower value on the resources of a potential partner compared to women who do not have their own resources. Deng Fong is a millionaire entrepreneur who made her fortune by selling furniture. What is the downside of being a very wealthy single woman in China today? Mm, in China, a woman who fails to succeed in love by the time she turns 28 is branded leftover. But at 42 and single, Miss Dang says she won't be deterred from the search to find a husband. It's not a coincidence that women are labeled as leftovers at age 28. Look at this graph. As you can see, the fertility rate declined significantly between 30 and 34. If you want to start a family, you need a fertile woman. And by the age of 28, a woman's beauty peaks. She's not going to get any prettier. It only goes downhill from there. It doesn't matter how much money she makes. It doesn't make her more attractive in our eyes. Check this out. Chinese uh, men uh, normally don't want to date women older than they themselves. So if you're a woman who's single mm. and is 30 or over, you're considered left over? Uh, correct. Uh, recent service said that uh, mm, if you're older than 28, uh, you're, you're called uh, leftover women or leftover men. Why? It's just a tradition. And, uh, maybe the, mm, peer, mm, the pressure from the peers and from the societies. If you date for like old women and uh, older than you, and probably the people will, around you will look down on you. Cultural differences play a significant role here as the values in Asian countries often differ from those in Western countries. This is why men leave the West to get women who are not poisoned by ethnic society. And that's why you don't bring them back home, brothers. Are men afraid of a strong woman in China? This... 嗯，他应该中国传统是男尊女卑，但是当这个我认为就是嗯，这个女企业家呢，她在工作当中的这种强势会到工生活当中会有一个惯性，所以这个时候不是怕，而是一种可能觉得不适应。That men are considered superior to women is not a coincidence. Men are the builders of this world. Economic security is a key reason why many, 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 many Chinese families prefer to have sons. Janice, read. Economic security, sons were often viewed as a form of old age security. In a society without comprehensive social welfare systems, having sons was seen as a way to ensure that parents would be taken care of in their later years. Sons were expected to support their parents financially and provide for their needs. As highlighted in the Barbie movie review, women have no interest in doing the nitty-gritty jobs. Men are not afraid of her. Men are not intimidated by her. 
men are simply not attracted to her. More about that later. The Chinese government, uh, they published a report and uh, say currently there are nearly uh, 200 million uh, singles in China. 200 million? Yeah, 200 million. Singles. Wow. Uh, in China. And also, uh, and it's uh, keep growing. It's not as shocking as you think, fellas. China has a population of 1.4 billion. So 200 million singles is like 15% of the population. But the numbers will increase faster as time goes on. The US has almost 50% of adults who are single. That's almost half of the population. And the numbers will also increase as time goes on. Barbie is not helping. China's skewed gender imbalance means there are currently 118 men for every 100 women. Yet despite the shortage of women, Chinese men remain very picky. I said, I'm still not married. And then they said, oh, you are too critical. That's why you couldn't find the Miss Right. Catherine Zhao is 35 and a civil engineer. But like Deng Feng, she's considered a leftover woman. Do you get sad sometimes? Yeah, of course. I just wish uh, the people never look the single woman as a strange kind of human being in the world. I think uh, the world changed so fast, uh, everything changed and uh, I'm satisfied in this moment. The moment guys, they live in the moment. Only when they notice that attention is waning and people start looking at them funny, does it become a problem. And uh, I'm also satisfied and also looking forward to, to have my own family. She says she spent most of her 20s and 30s working on her career. Now she admits she struggles to get a date. They said, okay, one day when you retired, uh, if nobody around you, if you have, if you get sick, who will take care of you? This is uh, always uh, kind of thoughts from a parent's side. This mindset is crucial. Planning and preparing for your old age. Although it sometimes seems mundane, these efforts yield significant long-term benefits. The older generation often has this perspective because they have experienced more difficult circumstances than the current generation. So we take a lot of things for granted until it hits us in the face. And it's strange to me, considering that the leftover woman phenomenon isn't a new concept. I'm surprised that she thought she was immune from it. Catherine tells me that though she and her friends haven't given up hope of finding true love, they're not willing to compromise on who they are for a partner. Do you think men find you intimidating? I think uh, the men do or did, but uh, maybe after that, uh, maybe they think I'm too, too independent. Uh, they think you're too independent? Possible, yeah. This is, uh, at least I, I, I learned from my ex-boyfriend. He told you that? Yeah, he told me. Do you think you are? I think I'm independent because my parents educate me by this way. Even I'm a girl, but uh, my parents tell me, even you're a girl, you should do everything. Try to do everything by yourself. Now tell me, what sort of woman do Chinese men want? I think uh, from my experience, I, I think they prefer the women as uh, beauty. First, it must be beauty. And second, they are a little bit uh, uh, not that smart. You need to have a certain education, but not so much, not too much. Uh, Submissive. Smart. Yeah, I should say like this. And I prefer, I think they also prefer the, the, the girl is uh, uh, conservative. I think this is very important. Not that smart. Women think they are smart because they are educated, but their actions speak louder than words. 
apparently they're not that smart. There's a difference between education and intelligence. Essentially, a person can be highly educated in a particular field, but not necessarily highly intelligent in all aspects of life and vice versa. For example, a bachelor's degree in psychology does not necessarily mean you have the skills to fix a car. Education and intelligence can be specialized in specific areas. So you have these so-called strong and independent women say, what conversations are you going to have with someone who doesn't share your socioeconomic status when they are asked to lower their standards and date a bus driver or a plumber? Like you're going to talk about your job or career all the time? These women think they are their college degrees and their job and place too much value on the superficial aspect of relationships. I don't care what you studied unless it's how to be my girlfriend, how to be a wife and mother. Modern women suck at being girlfriends. It's a skill that is taken for granted. Modern women associate a college degree with being a good quality girlfriend. You heard what she said. She focused her time on her career. So that's what she's good at. She's good at making tests. She's good at working for a boss, but she sucks at being a girlfriend because she took the girlfriend skill for granted. And this Barbie movie is playing into that narrative. These women can be anything except being a freaking girlfriend, let alone a mother. Although there are more men than women in this country, the culture still expects women to be a valuable asset to her husband and his family. With women, it's a selfish endeavor. You heard it, they won't compromise. Matchmaker Johnny Du says it's not only Chinese men who are choosy about potential partners. Women are picky, they're really picky and they want the man to be very, very rich, young, handsome and uh, also um, uh, rich, handsome and uh, educated and uh, also be um, good, uh, be good to them. If you watched our previous video on height, we have a treat for you. 另外呢,或者有的那个男生就说他可能本身条件不是很好,就他被女生挑,就说他自己本身条件又不满足女生的这个什么,可能身高又不行,然后呢,或者是呢,然后或者是女生的第一看中身高啊,身高必须得一米七
manners where we work in. Protect yourself at all times. This video has officially been highlighted. Woo!